Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Wednesday. Cheers to you. I'm actually almost finished with my coffee. I intended to start shooting this vlog about 45 minutes ago and then I ended up yakking on the phone. Oh, I love my coffee. How much if I have any more left? I don't think so. Um, anyway, I finished my workout and uh, have about a 525, 550 burn which is my new goal um, for my morning cardio is to burn 500 calories, where I was usually burning about 300. <sighs> anyway, um, I'm a little tired this morning, sorry. So yesterday was my birthday. I didn't think I shot a vlog yesterday. Um, just stretching my legs. Um, so it was a little bit of a bummer yesterday because I didn't schedule anything as far as any meetings. And then I ended up literally having to work all day because I had some huge deadlines that I was the only person that could work on the stuff. So it's a little bit of a bummer that I was working literally until right before my massage. I had a massage at, at 4.30. Um, but what are you gonna do? Not that big of a deal. So um, I'm 44 and I have to tell you, it feels pretty damn good to have turned 44 and to feel better, look better, and be more excited about the future than, I don't know. I, I really feel the best I've ever felt, probably ever. Uh, I'm, I feel like in many ways, life is just beginning. I'm so excited about the future, professionally, personally, um, spiritually, if you will, emotionally, however many ways you can use to describe just life. I'm just happy, I'm, I'm excited, um, I'm making changes every day, every week, and um, it's all good. I'm proud of, I'm proud of what I've accomplished with myself, um, especially since, you know, really getting a good focus the end of last year and then um, early, first quarter of this year. So I think I'll do a brief review of that and a brief preview of what is coming up. <laughs> all of you right now have to be watching this going, did she just say brief? Let's see what I can do, okay? Um, but I'm, I am, I'm proud. I'm proud as hell of my company. I'm, it still seems like a blur. It seems like an absolute blur, but we're doing so much differently. Um, we're fundamentally changing so much as we go global this year. And it's pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting because since founding the company two, two years ago, it's been two years. Wow, we should have a celebration. Since founding the company two years ago, really, it's almost like the first two years were so fast and so far beyond what I ever could have imagined, that it's more like been this feeling of just putting out fires, you know, and, and being just in reaction mode, where now we're really taking a step back and, and you know, planning this foundation, um, really planning the business from the ground up as we go global, and it's exciting really exciting to feel number one that we're being proactive versus reactive and what what's ahead is cool is really cool um, and it's inspiring for the most part I say for the most part because the one thing that's been disappointing um, in building this business is it's it, there's two things that are disappointing number one has been seeing some of the greed that exists I just have been disappointed by that in the, in the blogging space, if you will, or, or influencer space, sometimes that's been disappointing. And then there's just some douchebags in fitness that I just wanna go like, what, what is your point every day when you get up? Do you get up every day excited about being a douchebag? Excited about chasing people down and just like raining on their parade, being angry at everybody? Like do your own thing and if you have nothing nice to say, just shut up. Anyway, so let's just be happy today and say good things. Um, I had a great workout this morning. What did I do? I did Kathy's Tabata, which kicked my ass. I had a total calorie burn of about 550. I Instagrammed it, so I have to remember. Five, I thought it was 550 or 560. Um, one second. 576, more than I thought. Um, and I am going to probably go to hot yoga tonight because it's Wednesday. Um, got to look at my schedule, but then I also started to do some of this. I've got my laptop right here. I need to focus more on doing abs. 
I don't want to do abs three times a week, so I pulled out this DVD that I haven't done in a while, which is Kathy's um, Ab Circuits. And she's got, so it's one DVD that has some of her best abs uh, focused Focus, like on, on so many of her DVDs, she'll have like, you know, 20 minute abs at the end. So I think what she did is she took the best of all of that and put it on one DVD that's all abs. And there's different, let me see, there's different variations. Like each, each option will give you like, hold on, I'm trying to bring up the menu. So there's Pilates based abs, yoga based abs, weights and plates abs, stability ball abs, no equipment abs, Medicine ball abs plus bonus medicine ball with a partner abs. And then the last one is bonus medicine ball with a partner abs only. So she always gives you all of these, these options. So I started doing the no equipment abs and um, at the end of my workout. And it feels pretty good. It was a lot of side oblique. Um, that's redundant. It was a lot of um, obliques work, which I have a feeling I'm going to be really feeling later. Anyway, let me do a, a quick summary because I know I'm going to post my blog about this this morning and I, I need to be focused and then get out of here because I have stuff to do. Mr. Flow, Mr. Flow. Um, so here's the thing. So many guys have been asking me, you know, specifically what has my, what's been my, my program um, the past, um, the first quarter of this year and then what am I going to be doing the second quarter because I'm really, really wanting to amp it up for the second quarter. I'm really pleased with how far I've come, but I want to go further in Q2 and that's really the goal that we should always be doing is getting better, not just existing, right? So um, as you know, let's see, towards the end of last year, I started having, I was working with Dr. Mike Roussel and he was helping me get my diet back. Um, Really, it was it was it was it was less about what to eat, but just to eat again because I was getting to the point where I was in my office all the time and not making time for meals. And then when I was, I was eating at the last minute, eating too late, eating sporadically. So that combined with inconsistent working out and training was just <laughs> a mess. So I first started uh, working with Dr. Mai to get me back into the habit of eating regularly and planning and having a balanced approach and then you guys know I was doing the the diet to go meals which were great um, where it was delivered and I had all the prepackaged meals in my refrigerator it still is a problem for me <laughs> Michael laughs because he's like why does it take you that long to go grocery shopping um, but I just put off going grocery shopping because I hate it I hate that I have to go drive and go grocery shopping um, anyway I just want to be able to like that that show bewitch snap my fingers and have groceries in my house is that too much to ask um, so anyway, I, that's, this was again, the end of last year. And then Todd Bumgardner, who does online customized training plans had designed one for me that I started with. And this was, I think, November, December of last year. And that was exciting because that got me into a program as opposed to what I had found myself doing was just squeezing my workout in when I thought about it. And then I was like tending to go, what do I feel like doing? And what I felt like doing, it always tended to be the same thing. It would always be running or it would always be, um, you know, this DVD. And I would do the same thing and there was no variety. And there certainly wasn't enough focus on weight training. So when I was doing Todd's program, he did a, a very thorough analysis. I'll, I'll put a link up to his site. It's called Beyond Strength training.com or is it beyondstrengthperformance.com? I should look that up because it'll be really silly if I'm recommending that in the middle of the video, but I will put, I'm pretty sure it's beyondstrengthperformance.com um, because then if you want, you can have him beyond strength. I'll feel bad if this is not it. Performance.com. That should be it, I think. Yep, that's his website, beyondstrengthperformance.com. And then you can look under services and you can um, get customized training, very customized training. If I'm correct, it's three to $500 a month, um, which when I say very customized, you get a new workout designed for you every single week um, and one-on-one -on -one consultation and, and, and you, know, you get to actually talk to him. Um, thinking about that most personal training sessions are 75 bucks to 100 for an hour, um, think about that. That's like five sessions, but you're getting your entire month. So highly recommend him. Um, but then what I started doing is, um, training with Michael because Michael's local 
and, and I didn't want to be doing Todd's program and asking Michael to, you know, like change his stuff and I just wanted to train with one person. So I called Todd and I said, you know, this isn't that I don't want to do your stuff, but I'm here with somebody who's physically here with me and I, I don't want to ask him to do your program and vice versa. So um, towards, I think, the last week of December is when I started training with Michael. It's Michael's local. And so what we started doing and what I did for pretty much the first quarter is I did cardio two times a day. I, did, I do cardio still in the morning when I get up. Um, I do fasted cardio. And for me, um, I like fasted cardio. I, I like to, I feel that I can do it. Um, it's just easier for me to jump around when I have nothing in my stomach. That's always been the case with me. If I try to go for like a run in the middle of the day and it's been an hour and an hour and a half or something after I've eaten, I just, it doesn't work. Is there music even on? It's just very quiet, sorry. Um, so I do cardio um, in the morning and I started off doing 30 minutes um, of cardio. I've gone up to a little bit more, um, but typically I would burn between 250 or 300 calories. But I was starting off with 30 minutes in the morning and then he wanted me to do another 30 minutes um, at night. And then we were doing five to six meals a day um, with most of my, my carbs, if you will, um, before about two, before, yeah, two, like starting around two or three, I have just, um, protein meals. Um, and that's what we did. So like, in other words, I'm trying to think of what I had, you know, back then, and I'm just stretching back then when I started, you know, I was doing that, um, zucchini protein bread in the morning and I haven't had that for a while. So I'm going to ask if that's cool that I have that again. But like right now, what I have been tending to do is I get up in the morning, I do my cardio. I do take the, I don't have the container here because I'm almost out. So I'm about to order some more. I take the Genetics HD that, um, you've seen the blue cup, um, the Pro Sculpt in the morning. So I take the Pro Sculpt with water before my workout. I go do my workout. Then I come in here and I make my breakfast. I typically have, um, half a cup of oatmeal and then I put a scoop of PB2 in it, which makes it delicious. And then I do, I just pour a bunch of egg whites in a container, whip it up, put a little bit of salt and pepper in it, and I cook that into like a flat omelet thingy. Of course, it's not really an omelet. It's usually just like a burnt piece of thing that I eat. Then I have my coffee, and in my coffee, you know, I have my, um, this is the part where I really should not drink this because there will be cinnamon left over. I have my coffee with coconut oil, cinnamon, and a dash of um, heavy cream. And then um, what we're focusing on now, and he even has me set up with Google Alerts, is making sure that I eat every three hours. Um, but you know, typically then what I'll do is, like now, it's 10 o'clock, um, I'll have my meal for lunch will be um, roast, like roasted vegetables, I'll roast a bunch of vegetables, um, have it on salad with, um, hummus, that hummus dressing that I like to make, and then I'll have my protein on the side, whether it's turkey meatloaf or tilapia or grilled chicken or whatever. Um, I think he was saying steak is fine this week or, or this quarter, but steak earlier in the day. I don't know what the, what the point is of having it earlier versus later, but if he was here, maybe he'll be on one of my next videos. He can explain it. Um, and I question him a lot. We have a lot of like back and forth where I'm like, can you explain that to me? And then he'll go. <sighs> so, um, yeah, sometimes I don't understand things, but it's working. It's working and I feel great. Um, I also have a lot of almonds um, for like a snack. Um, if I feel that I need something carby, almonds tend to do it for me. Or sometimes I'll just take PB2 and mix it up in a little ramekin. I'm not gonna lie and just eat that. Um, that kind of satisfies the car the need for for carby or something sweet. It works for me. So I'm not really having a lot of fruit right now, vegetables and protein mostly. Um, we are focusing now this next quarter on me drinking a lot more water because I was definitely tending to get some muscle cramping and realizing that I wasn't getting um, enough water. So I'm really focusing on drinking my water. I'm allowed to have one diet soda a day, which kills me because I would like to have it all day long, as you know. There's nothing wrong with wanting it all day long. Um, what else? 
Um, so then I do um, weight training. Um, I was a little bad with consistency the past two or three weeks with some of my travel. Um, so I'm really focusing on getting back to three to four days, three to four sessions a week of hard, heavy weight training. So that means like whether I'm at the gym or whether I'm home, going as heavy as I possibly can. No like girly, wussy weights. Um, and then my cardio and then adding yoga in. Um, once I went down on vacation and hung out with Kelly, just getting yoga back into my life was like, it's, it's just a nice, um, it's just a nice mix. Um, so it was, number one, the cool thing is, is that we had, we did adjust things kind of every month, but now we're looking at, you know, here's what happened the first quarter of this year, and now we're mixing things up even more for the second quarter, which it's always good to mix it up, period, mix up your diet, mix up your training, but then especially, I have cinnamon stuck in my throat. Um, especially to make sure you're you're changing your training and not just staying with the same, or you're not gonna continue to get results. So, um, one of some of the things that we're gonna be focusing on Q2 is number one, ensuring that I get all my weight training sessions. And sometimes with my busy schedule and his busy schedule, we were ending up like you know at the last minute going, oh, you're not free, I'm not free. Okay, well I'll just do this at home, and I just didn't feel like I was planning as much in advance so we just discussed this last night is that now on Sundays we'll plan the whole week out so I know in advance when I'm doing you know buys and tries when I'm gonna do um, shoulders when I'm gonna do yoga when I'm gonna do this so that's the number one thing that's gonna change is really planning that out in advance so that things like trips don't get in the way and and whatever because that's Definitely something I want to amp up. I want to build more muscle and 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 build more muscle, improve my conditioning. <sighs> Secondly, varying my cardio a little more, um, so that I do, you know, a lot of what I've been doing, which I love, are my DVDs at home for cardio. Um, so I love my Les Mills Combat. I love my Turbo Fire. I love anything Kathy has. Tabata is one of my favorite, which is what I did this morning. Um, my body, uh, body rock, body strikes. You know, I've got a lot of insanity. I've got a lot of really good um, cardio DVDs that I can do at home, as, w as well as weight training. Well, anything from Kathy is, is good for weight training. Um, but really want to mix that up. Like, he wants me making sure that I hit um, the stairs at the gym three times a week. So we'll focus on doing um, running. So I, I want to mix in like a third of my cardio will be running, a third of my cardio will be, maybe it's not a third, um, we'll make sure we get in three sessions of Stairmaster at the gym. I'd ideally like to get my own Stairmaster. My own, I, ideally I'd really like to have my own home gym because I'm realizing the pain in the ass about planning workouts, going to the gym. I love training at the gym. I love the equipment that's there. I love being able to use it. What is annoying is knowing that if I'm gonna work out at six o'clock at night and I go over to Lifetime, it's going to be packed with a bunch of high school boys who, you know, there's like four of them hogging a machine sitting around talking. And then you have to wait for everything. And so the only time that you can really effectively use the gym and not be annoyed and not have, you know, again, a bunch of high school boys that just stare at your butt is you have to go at only certain times in the day. And it's not always easy to plan my, my availability to go at 10 o'clock in the morning or at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. That's what is annoying about using the gym. I love using the gym, but I find it annoying that knowing it, using it at night sucks. When I, when I tend to want to go at night and do weight training, I'm like, no, you know what, I'm going to do it here. So in my head, I'm starting to kind of pull back and want to work out and have a home gym again and really have that as a goal to have a really, really nice home gym. Good God, I'm at 19 minutes. Um, but anyway, so Q2 is going to be more variance, variance, is that even a word? In my cardio, um, more running, um, uh, doing the, the stairs at the gym, um, and then mixing that up with my um, cardio DVDs that I have at home. As far as weight training, just you know, taking that up a, a notch, mixing and matching, doing more circuits. Um, throwing that in there as well, um, and then adding in and incorporating hot yoga. And I think is if I plan out, you know, part of what would, would 
freak me out with my planning is I get in the middle of the week and go, oh, if I go to hot yoga today, is that, am I going to be able to still do this? Am I, you know, plan it out in advance so I can say, okay, here's what I've got. I've got three hot yoga sessions. I've got, you know, two running, two, two plans for running, three plans for this, you know, like you can see it and, and you're covering everything as opposed to getting to Friday going, oh crap, this is what I have time for and I still haven't done back. You know, or I haven't done, um, you know, oh, legs is tomorrow, so I've got to do, see what I'm saying? Really have to plan that out. That's what I'm working on. But a, another thing that a lot of you guys have been asking about is, you know, I appreciate the compliments on, on my arms. And there's two things that I'm going to tell you that I feel have been the key to getting some success there. And see, you can't see it here, but I got to tell you. I can't believe how much I've leaned out in my lower body. Really, the, the area that I'm still retaining the most fat that I have to lose is still in my core. My core is just thicker, and I that's where I have where I see the most fat, and then a little bit in the in, in, in my back. But my legs have gotten remarkably leaner, my butt's gotten great. Um, but as far as my arms, you know, what do I think is different? Number one, more focus on weight training in general, going heavy, you know, pushing it as hard as I can. Sometimes when I'm training with Michael, I just think I'm gonna just die and I'm making all these funny faces, but I just do it. And then furthermore, the cardio that I'm doing now, or that I've been doing, you know, if you look at what Les Mills car, uh, Combat is and Shalene Johnson, the um, Turbo Fire, um, a lot of what I'm doing is, has a lot of boxing, a lot of upper body movement. Um, I mean, a lot. And I think that combining that with the heavy weight training, you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get what you want if you're just, you know, using two pink dumbbells and going, oh, this is cool. You know, I mean, if you if you want to really have muscle and muscle definition, you have to lose fat and you have to build muscle, and you're not gonna get that by using two twigs. So do the work. Um, I gotta go because here I am at 22 minutes. Didn't I say I was gonna have a short blog? That never happens. I'll put the rest of the details up of Q1, Q2, and diet, supplements, all of that on the blog today. I promise. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.